Question 6 is about multiplication of matrices. Again, we can use the calculator and easily solve it up. Let's use our calculator. We have seen how to use the matrix mode in the inverse of the matrices. Please watch the previous video of question 5 before watching this. Now, even for this, we do the same procedure at the beginning. Press mode and let's fill in this matrix. I'll do the second one first and then I'll come to this. Let's do this A, that is matrix A is by, sorry, first mode and 6 is the matrix option, matrix A. And it's 2 cross 2, so I'll press 5 and now type in the matrix. 2, 9, minus 7 and 3 here. And now press AC. Never go back to mode again. You need to press Shift 4 to use matrix options. Now we have another matrix. Don't press matrix B. This is not the one. You need to press 1 for dimensions and then put in matrix B by option 2. Now here, it's again 2 cross 2 matrix. So let's press 5 and type in the matrix. 6, minus 4, 0 and lastly we have 3. Now both the matrices are saved and all you need to do is multiply. You have to multiply AB and BA if possible, right? So let's press shift 4 and type 3, that is matrix A. Multiply by multiplication symbol and now again matrix B, that is shift 4 and option 4. Press equal to, you get the answers 12, 19, minus 42 and 37. Let's just look at the answers. This is the answer. But Multiplying B and A is not the same. For that, you need to again press Shift 4 and press B, that is option 4, multiplied by Shift 4, option 3, that is matrix A. Make it equal. So this is the answer now, 40, 42, minus 21 and 9. Now here, let us do this one. You can try it by yourselves. I will do it over here. Pause it. Try to do it by yourselves. You can check the answers. And now we can see the video. Mode 7, sorry, mode 6 is the matrix. Press option 1 and now type in the matrix A that is 1 by 2 because the, there's only one row and two columns, right? It's 1 by 2. There's no option over here. Let's press down. Here we get option 2, 1 by 2. Now type in the values 8 and 1 and then press AC. Now shift 4, press dimension and type the matrix B that is option 2. This is 2 cross 2, that's option number 5, and now we have 3, minus 7, minus 5, and positive 2. Both the matrices are saved now. All you need to do is shift 4, option uh, 3 for matrix A, multiplied by shift 4 and option 4. When you press equal to, you're getting the matrix 19 and minus 54. Now let's try same thing, matrix B multiplied by matrix A, what happens? Here you get a dimension error. That means this is not possible to be multiplied. I will tell you how the dimension thing works. Let's look at this one. First, let's write the dimensions over here. This is 2 cross 3 and this is 3 cross 2. If the columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, then we can easily multiply them. If they are not equal, then we cannot. So if I'm multiplying B and A, what happens is this is 3 cross 2 times 2 cross 3. This also is possible. Over here, both are possible. Whereas if this was not matching in the other problems, it's not possible. You can directly put in the calculator and check it out. Now, the actual method to multiply is here. What happens is the first row is multiplied with this first column. And then you write it out from the tail to the tail in the sense this term over here with this term. Can you see over here? That's happened. Minus 2 times 2 here. And then 0 times minus 1. And lastly, 3 times 9. That is what we do. And then you, we write it over here. And then the first row with the second column. And that is written over here. And then with the second row, first column over here. And this one with the second row over here, second column over here. You can see the tail with the tail. In the sense, 5 times 0, minus 7 times 0, and lastly, 1 times 3. Now, you just can solve this up. You can put in the calculator and solve it. You get this answer. This is the multiplication. Same way you can do for the B and A. It's the first row with the first column, first row with the second column, first row with the third column, 
and there we go and same thing second row first column and it just continues it's a very simple thing whereas the same thing is already done to you in the calculator and we get this answer now one more thing which i forgot to tell when we write the dimensions now this is 3 cross 2 3 cross 2 cross 3 right this must match yes we can multiply the resultant will be the rows of the first matrix and the columns of the second matrix so it's 3 cross 3 here that's how we get it and please do try these by yourselves you can use the calculator method or you can do the long method as well generally you're supposed to have only 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 matrix but over here there is one 4 cross uh, this is one row four columns try this by the method we just now saw you need to multiply it and then you will get the answer over here is the answer it's very simple but b is not possible because it's a dimensional error and same thing please do solve these and then check your answers over here that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video